Hey, good morning, y'all. This is Brian today with Hollis Farms. Got something different today. I normally don't uh, get to film any any of our work-related stuff because I'm always at the office. It wouldn't be nothing nothing y'all would be interested in seeing there for sure, sitting at the computer all day. But a little road trip today. Just got to a job that's in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Big warehouse, uh, big manufacturing facility. Actually, I'm um, kind of on a little bit of a hill, cre a little crest. I can see the job from a distance. I'll show y'all in a second, but I'm gonna uh, be here for a day or a day and a half or so. I'm gonna get to take y'all along and show you a little bit of what we do at Hollis Roofing. This is a big single ply roof. I think it's just under 600,000 square feet, so you get to see a big, big roof. I'm pretty interesting roof system. A couple of things we're doing kind of a hybrid system i'll explain more about that you'll see some of the equipment we use but let me uh i'll show you all this roof and i'll go down here to the job site and check in and in a little while we'll be on top y'all can see this big building right here long building right here that's the building we're on little small section right there in the center we hadn't done it. don't know why i'll have to get with the guys to see but we're trying to wrap up the far end down here we've uh, got about three to four more days to finish up the main building then we're going to bring another crew in next week to finish the little lower office roof because the main crew is going on to another big job in south carolina I, if i get to go over there pretty soon i know i will i'll take y'all over there too it's a really big job way bigger than this one but we'll be back in just a minute i think the guys are going to lunch i'm gonna go get checked in at the job site like i said and when we get on top i'll uh take y'all with us we'll walk around a little bit Here a few hours I had to kind of kind of count some material kind of getting down to the short roads the end of this job and uh, I started to plan see if we need any extra material or how much we're gonna have to have left over how much we need to move back to the shop to another job so I think we got that straight so I got on the roof I'm gonna show y'all we are on a manufacturing facility in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think the total square footage of this thing is, I think it's just under 600,000 square feet. Uh, you can do the math, it's several acres. So, I'm trying to show you what we're putting on is a mechanically attached Firestone TPO roof system. I'll show you where the guys are working, what it's looking like. 060 TPO membrane and a 10 by 100 roll. Show, turn around, show you. you see here that the sheets are the sheets are 10 feet wide. Each seam is uh can't hardly see it so bright up here. But these seams right here are welded together with a hot air welder. The material is thermoplastic, so it welds together melts together becomes stronger stronger the weld is actually stronger than the act the sheet itself that's laid over a three inch thick uh, rigid roof insulation board long way over there you see i try to zoom in the guys are so bright out here i can't see the viewfinder but guys over there working on the far end 
have but about two more days of laying out That's some more guys right here put some more insulation on the roof getting ready to lay out a small section we had to skip out on the other day gonna lay it out or have it actually have it stocked and ready to lay out tomorrow this roof's so white and reflective it's hard to video up here but we'll go over here kind of show you where some of the insulation is laid out how we fasten it down we uh use a metal plate with a heavy duty fastener that screws down through the metal deck that attaches the insulation then you roll out the tpo roll and you have a row of fasteners on the edge screw them down through the metal deck and then your next roll laps over that row of fasteners so none of the fasteners are exposed I've also got some other stuff going on this roof, the perimeter enhancement because of the wind in this area. I had to beef, beef up the enhancement around the edges. And we're doing a couple different ways to do that. We're using induction welding technology to do that, where they actually installed a different kind of metal plate in a particular pattern on the perimeter and then we use an induction welder that uh, somehow or another, I don't know the exact technology, terminology, something about the induction welder is a magnetic wave that heats the plate. It has a coating on it that bonds it to the bottom of the roof membrane without making any penetration. So it's a uh, induction weld. We call it Rhino Bond. All the manufacturers have a different name. This particular manufacturer calls it Invisiweld. Cool technology though, it's a, way, a good way to attach a membrane without screwing a hole through it and then having to cover that with another piece of membrane. I think it's just a whole lot better design. I'll walk over here and show y'all a little bit about that. All right, before y'all show y'all what they're putting down, I'll show you what the metal deck looks like. It's a 22 gauge, I think, Type B uh, corrugated metal deck here. So this is our insulation in these bundles. This job called for a particular R value with three inch ISO. So we're putting it down in a single layer. Go over here, I'll show you how they're fastening the uh, board down to the deck see right here the rolls are run perpendicular to the decking so you get attachment correct attachment you'll see there you you'll see they're using a silver plate it's just a, a light gauge steel plate that attaches the iso to the metal deck and you'll see the gold plates have a coating on them that are actually attached with the induction welding. We'll catch up with them doing some of that too. You notice the, uh, the gold plated Rhino Bond plates are at a prescribed distance around the perimeter so you'll be attaching the sheet, enhanced uh, enhanced fastening on the perimeter because that's where your, your, uh, if you have a high wind situation, it's gonna start peeling at the edges so you reinforce the perimeter. You see the, see the uh, row of plates here, right here in the seam. That's what holds each row of membrane down and you'll see him rolling that roll out over it and then it'll be hot air welded to make a seam right there windy out here so they're having to have to lay those two by sixes right there down to hold it up hold it down until we can get it welded
you'll see right behind him the guy running this hot air welder welding the seams as fast as he can behind him so the wind doesn't get under it show you what these guys are doing whenever you're doing detail work on this thermoplastic you use a, a hand welder and a silicone roller to do the to heat the heat your seam area you guys over here are putting down some uh, what we call T patches anywhere you have a two rows intersect and form a T I'll show you right here you have to put a patch is this a spot that would possibly leak see that patch right there I can't hardly see it see where we have these rows intersect right here forms a T I'll show you how they do that with their hand welder I'll show y'all right quick how these guys flash these roof penetrations this is a roof curve is gonna have a piece of uh, probably air conditioning equipment or something on it not sure what but you'll see how they wrap it they cut the membrane to fit this curve, then they use a binding adhesive to glue it to the metal or wood surface. show y'all now what we're doing with these induction welded plates uh, the guys got out one of the uh, it's a magnet what you do after you use the induction welder and I'll show y'all that after it beeps and it's, it's uh, the weld is done we've got a magnetic uh, rod that, that a clamp that clamps down the whole pressure on the membrane until the weld actually cools but in order to find these plates that are under the membrane, you have to mark it. So what we've got the guys doing now, they're going down through here in a row, marking the uh, plates with the, with the magnet. What that does right there, so when the guy comes along running the induction welder, he won't have to find the plate. He'll see those marks, those scuff marks, and he'll set his welder on there, push a button and then it'll beep when the weld's been is complete then he'll set that same magnet he'll have a line of those magnets set up behind him he'll be rotating those as the weld's cool we'll show that uh, they'll have get the welder going here shortly I'll show you how that's a pretty neat pretty neat stuff for roofing technology we're going 
go over here now and catch some of these guys hand welding some of the tea patches I mentioned to you earlier and moved over to another seam. They'll just go down through there. Everywhere there's a joint where two seams, uh, two sheets intersect. We'll have to put that, put that patch there kind of as just a secondary weld to make sure we don't get a leak at that location. And they're putting so many patches right there together in the same spot. There was a, looks like something snagged the end of a road. There were a couple little tears in the membrane right there on the well. So we want to put a patch there to, to avoid a potential leak down the road. So these guys usually carry a crayon or a little wax marker in their pocket. Anybody sees any little problem with a seam or anything, mark it. So when these guys are going around, they'll know that something needs to be addressed. Go ahead and put up some ISO board, get the roof stock for tomorrow. So we'll hit it in the morning. They'll be laying out this area here. We'll get all of this area laid out and probably a little more on the other side tomorrow too. be able to set it right down on that wagon nobody ever had to touch it or be in the way of it and fall off there and hit somebody the guys over there telling him telling him what to do and when to set it down, they'll pull it right out from under him. We can watch him using this is the uh, this is the induction welding machine I was telling you about. It creates a magnetic current which heats heats the plate, the gold plates that I showed you earlier that are under the membrane. They have a coating on them and it heats that plate and that bonds to the underside of the membrane. As he pulls the welder off each one, he puts the magnetic clamp on top of it. That puts pressure on the plant, clamp to seal the well, but it also draws the heat out of it to cool it faster. I'll let y'all watch it here. They'll wipe that magnet off each time to make sure there's not any little grit or anything on there that might punch a hole in the membrane as he 
as you use five magnets there, you know that by the time you grab the first one, the one back here, it's already cool, so it just keeps rotating them. That allows us to have some extra, extra uh, fastening of the membrane without penetrating a screw through it. Each time he sets it down on a plate, he pushes a button on top of the handle there. Then by the time he gets him another magnet, and rotates back to the front, it's ready to move again. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap us up for the day. It's about, I don't know what time it is. It's about six o'clock. Did a little measuring, the guys did about 45,000 square feet today in this area. This area right here. Um, just for reference, an acre is 44,100 square feet. So it's just, just over an acre. A little math on this job. I think it's right up. All total, the main building and a couple of lower buildings is about s s between 16 and 17 acres on the roof. But, uh, I'm gonna, we'll keep videoing in the morning. I want to, didn't get to show y'all laying out any of the insulation and the fastening that down. You get to see that. That'll give you a little better, a little better idea of how the whole system goes down. You got to see the membrane going down and the induction welding and the robot welder welding the seam. Anyway, I'm gonna, I got to go get me a room. We're going it's daylight. We're far enough west in the central time zone that it gets daylight a little later than it does at home. We won't get started in the morning until about 7.30. It's going to be a little cold too. It's supposed to be 35 in the morning. Anyway, headed on down, I'll show you right here. This is finished product of one of the rooftop, where a rooftop air conditioning unit will be. You see we've got a curb there where the, it'll sit on top of that curb right there. we got it covered for, just for fall protection right now. And then we've got a TPO weldable weldable walk pad right there it's got a uh, treaded surface on there so it's not slippery and you guys you saw the guys over there wrapping that other those other little equipment stands that's what this ended up going to be some kind of rooftop equipment here some kind of condenser or something I don't know what it'll be but we'll be back in the morning look at the insulation layout and we'll wrap it up. So, we'll be back in the morning a little after sunrise. All right, y'all, we're back on the roof next day. I'm trying to, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a really pretty day, cool this morning, 36, 37 degrees. The, uh, guys are over here laying out one big section i think they're gonna try to we had one section over here that left out the other day don't really know why they left it out i don't know if something was, wasn't ready for them so anyway they're laying out a big section down here on the other end where we were yesterday then they're gonna drop back and do that that'll probably be what they try to get dried in and finish today today's thursday and tomorrow they'll have uh, this section down here to lay out get it in the dry then they have to work on the walls on this end and some other detail work still hadn't finished on the other end because we were waiting on the, <clears throat> the painter to do some work on some expansion joints so 
to show y'all here in a minute how they lay this board out, screw it down. That'll kind of give you a full view of how this system goes down. See how he's laying out these plates to hold this ISO down. Specs require five per board out in the field. And the guys are coming here and screw this down. Already right behind them rolling out membrane. No wind today, so don't have to worry about weighting it down. All right, y'all. I can't see y'all. It's so bright out here. Y'all don't see me. Think to uh, wrap up this video. I've got to leave here and go to another job in Arkansas. Won't be really anything to video there. Job's not going to be ready for us for a couple of weeks. I don't know that I'll be visiting that job, but I'm going to go over there and take a look while I'm this close and run by a distributor, pick up some material too for this job that we'll need next week. So, hope y'all didn't get too bored with this roofing stuff. Um, don't get to show this very much. Don't get out a whole lot. Stay so busy at the office, but give a good opportunity to see what we do if you got any questions about it feel free to ask i can answer most every question you might have maybe uh, later on in the year got some other big projects going i've tried to visit some of these big ones at least once i'll video those too if y'all don't mind watching it again we appreciate you watching and don't forget to subscribe check out our website too if you want to see what's on there hollisfarmer.com thank y'all again